Hello, my name is Josh Atkinson, and you have once again stumbled upon my portrait painting YouTube channel. Um, so for the past two weeks, I've been attempting to move in a rougher, more textural direction, but seeing if I can apply that to pretty subjects like Marilyn Monroe or Matt Damon, the past two uh, videos. So that was hard, and this week I thought, who can I paint in a in a rough but like not horror kind of horror kind of um, <laughs> style um, where people won't be mad? I don't think I accomplished that, but anyway, I thought of politicians. So here is Mitch McConnell. Um, I'm not trying to make any statements. Mitch McConnell's politics don't align with mine, but I don't really think most American politicians' views align with mine. Ooh. Anyway, so. Um, before I get myself in trouble, let's uh, see the, the time lapse of how I executed this portrait. So this is the source image, and now I'm going to paint. You can faintly see a painting of Conrad Veidt underneath it. He was a silent film actor from like the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, I want to say. But anyway, I'm starting with the Andrew Loomis circle my bastardization of it because i don't exactly know what to do um but it helps me orient his eyes they're a little downcast so i think i said this in the uh, intro but i'm not painting mitch mcconnell because i i'm making any kind of artistic statement about his politics um i just wanted to keep moving in this direction of my style, which I I guess I'm calling, I don't know, ugly or dark or expressive or rough. None of those words really convey what I'm trying to, to do, but it's something more, yeah, expressive and looser than just standard realism, but still uh, getting the likeness. So I, I thought, you know, there's a risk that I'm going to be making people look kind of ugly with this approach a risk, an intent. Um, so so I just kind of thought politicians. So I promise um, if anyone watching this is is um, hurt by Mitch McConnell um, not being made to look pretty, I promise you I'll, I'll paint, I don't know, Nancy Pelosi or Bernie Sanders or uh, I'll, I'll get them all in time. But it's also nice to paint older people. You know, the last two videos were of Marilyn Monroe and Matt Damon um, looking young and pristine and just as gorgeous as a human being can. And that was not really inviting a whole lot more than just realism. And I want to do something that's not quite realism. Uh, so yeah, so working on an older face, there's so much more interpretation. You can see crags and valleys, wrinkles and, and discoloration. Although this source image, uh, I don't know if it's just the, the, the makeup that they put him in, you know, before he does a television appearance, or if it's just Mitch McConnell, but there is like no color in this man's face. Like he is pasty. And I say this as like, I'm a redhead. Like you can see my blood through my skin. I'm not, I'm no one to call anybody else pale, but he is just like, white, like, truly. So, so there wasn't the same, like, you know, typically when I paint, like, Caucasian flesh, or any flesh tone, you find places where there's greens and, and, and pinks and violets and, uh, and, and aquas, like, you find all of that. Or if you don't find it, you can artistically impose it, because that's, I feel like that's kind of your job, is to find opportunities in any subject for for visual interest, um, without losing the likeness. Um, but there just wasn't a whole lot of color in this man. And his hair, you know, was gray as well. So I had fun sort of, sort of just suggesting the background. The background is shoulders of, I don't know, security people, I guess, and a framed picture. Um, but I end up, toward the end of this, I, I get his face more covered in thick paint in impasto brush strokes that I don't bother to blend. I just slam them down and leave them. And that's very much what I find exciting in, in painting and the direction that I'm going to be moving in. 
but uh, at the end of this painting, I, I, it feels kind of imbalanced because well, I added a little bit of color there. But anyway, it feels a little imbalanced because it's just in his flesh and his hair, this like thick, choppy paint. But I actually find a way to add it to his suit and and his tie and the I think the wall behind him. So it feels very, it feels very like there's like movement, like motion in the painting. And I guess that's kind of what I'm after. I'm calling this style I'm moving toward dark or ugly or, or I don't know, confrontational or whatever. But maybe, maybe someday though I'll find a way to, to convey beauty or even innocence with it. But those are not things that I look for in Mitch McConnell. You know, it's just, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, I wouldn't look for innocence in any politician um uh, of his years of experience uh but anyway yeah and this is also clearly not a statement hopefully clearly not a statement on on his uh whatever stroke or whatever happened um in this moment that is i am painting a still frame from that i'm not you know making a joke about that or anything it was just it was just I don't know. When you're a painter, there are things you can't put into words because you are a painter. And there was something about this image that just grabbed me and I ran with it. I can't explain it any better than I can explain my neon pink nail polish. When you're an artist, your eyes want certain things. And I feel like there's a certain pressure to be able to put those into, frankly, kind of pretentious language, you know, your motivations behind it. I don't know. I'm on YouTube. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> and thank you to my 15 subscribers. I think I got two in a week. That is, that's a record. Um, but yeah, this is a, yeah, now you can really see I'm like blocking, just leaving these blocks of paint. Um, I've done several paintings since this one and very much in this style and pushing it a lot further and with a lot more color. So, but you can see how I'm adding this choppiness into the background and into a suit. I'm feeling like excited i'm i'm exciting myself and that's more important than just you know painting the apple faithfully and the vase faithfully anyway so this is the finished image of um mitch mcconnell and yeah so yes that is how i arrived at this painting of mitch mcconnell and um i don't know hopefully nobody's like butt hurt about me making him look less than beautiful I thought politicians, billionaires, I can paint them like demons and ghouls because you fill in the blank. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Um, and uh, if you did, leave a comment, a like, and click that subscribe button. And uh, I will see you next Monday with another portrait, probably moving in this kind of... I don't have an adjective for it into this direction. What would you call this style? I need an adjective. All right. Thank you.